folks, I'm Donnie Carmichael. I'm the head lazy man with this company. We're going to do a little small uh, informational video showing you how we assemble our blinds. And we're going to do it in a step-by-step -step snippet. So, and let's get going. First thing we're going to do is have an inventory of the parts and pieces that it takes to assemble the blind. You're going to have all your screw packages all laid out for your, each individual product. You'll need a cordless drill, Phillips screwdriver, potentially to touch up a hole or two, a few drill bits, and a 7 16 wrench. You'll have your bow window plex. Depending on whether it's a gun unit, a gun bow, or combo, you'll have the different window versions. You'll have the number of bow frames, and they have 12, I believe, screws. They have our signature version or our, of our adhesive that holds the windows up. We call it flot. And the process, we're going to show you how to individually adhese, at, place them on the stand. Okay, folks, our first assembly point is to actually bolt the two halves together. If you can get help, it's, you know, somebody to help you set it on top, you lay it over, set it on top, then go around the whole sides of the blind and insert you a bolt in each one of the holes all the way around. Sometimes with paint and just general, you may have to ream them out. I think this is a quarter inch bit. So basically, these quarter bolts with nuts all the way around, I think there's 42 for the fat girl, 32 for a penthouse. Snug them up. Use a 17, 6, 17 16 wrench and tighten them up. Phillips screwdriver, 17 cents. 17 17 <laughs> anyway, got that. So basically, once you assemble the whole unit, stand it up or leave it down. We attach the rain guard. Basically, you take on the mold, snap it over the edge. It's not both of them together, but Snap them around. Not all the holes are in the Basically, that is 100% rainproof. So, the weather strips are a little longer. Do the various of the, the thicknesses of our, our flange, you'll just take a pair of pliers, snips, and just snip off the waste. We do not apply a trim weather seal to the bottom. There's no need. It goes both sides and the top. All right, we're now for our window install. Each one of the little holes has a, a snap in. So, a snap right into the window that's already existing. You'll take your little plastic screws. Do not use a screw gun. It's a Phillips head, and you just put the 12 around the whole unit. Our plexiglass has a protective plastic sheen on it. I don't want to peel this, but peel it before you go to the field, or when you get to the field. When you assemble these, I like to open them two halves, just a little bit. I like to start the window in, come up, and then work the window up to that way. The flock on both sides of these panels, here and here, holds our window. My last thing we do is we have a, a latch on the inside here. We use a small bowl, washer, and a nut. Through the plexiglass. Washer goes on, nut goes on. There's a little rubber stopper. Gives you something to hold on to. Turn it up. Hold it up. Latch it. Simple. Not over tighten them. If they're a little loose, 
snug them a little bit. If you happen to fail and over tighten those window screws sometime, then I recommend we keep, we have you four little screws in the package. You drill from the inside through this space and we provide you with four of these to lock the window frame down. Just, it happens. We have one other part that we don't do at our facility and that is the last waterproof. I recommend 100% silicon in a coffin room and you start on this outside and go around the complete area around this window and down the side. That gives you any water running down the sides from coming in the blind with you. One last part is above the door, this visor, silicon across that. That is our only two points of where the water will come in. We don't do it because it's, you know, we're in a, it takes a while for it to cure. And the time we work these through the system, it would be too, too much to cure them. And you don't want the windows on while you're traveling. If you happen to want to do this assembly at home, then I recommend the clear shrink wrap cellophane. Go around your blind five or six times and that will hold the windows in place. Just your windows, not your plexiglass. Still put the plexiglass in the blind in the field. Do not do that traveling down the road. Thank you folks for purchasing a Lazy Man stand. Good hunting and lots of memories.